Yo. Hey. Can you hear me? You listening to Hashtag Hashtag W-A-W. What a week. Hey. What a week. Week. Eita Ola, welcome to Wow, What a Week. On today's show, we have a free spirited Torian who also happens to be a bit of a lioness. Grr, arr. We have a dog lover who's been known to get quite catty. He'll moor a guy and a gay. And we have political analysis with our usual sly fox. So, welcome back to this week's menagerie. Menagerie. Welcome to the zoo. Wow, what a week. This is. Wow! What a week. What a week. Celebrity guest. Celebrity guest. She's actually not a celebrity guest. She's our comedian. She's in the building. You can't make some of these stories up that we're about to speak about. Speaking to women who are comedians and mothers can be a bit intimidating. I mean, if you say something weird, males might just look at you funny. However, someone like our next guest might hit you with a wooden spoon then go on stage and maybe make fun of how they made you cry. So don't mind me being nervous, and please give a wow welcome to Nom Tandazo Hopushe, a.k.a. Nonto Ar. Yay! But if it's Nom Tandazo Hopushe, it should be Nonto Jimus. Nonto G. Yeah. Why? How do you pronounce your name? Ar. But how do you pronounce it? Ho. Ex- 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 exactly. Ka-tebe. You don't say Katebe. You say... But it must be Nonto G. Nonto G. Yeah, Hopushe. It's an R. It's not a, a, a G. Watch, the wooden spoon is coming now. Okay. How are you, Nonto? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Dude, O-Ship 2023, you killed it. Thank you. Tell us about your set. Uh, okay, my perspective. Yeah. Because I'm a Christian. Sure. So I think there's Jesus this side and there's the devil this side. And then I like to represent both of them because okay. I know that people are already thinking or doing the things yeah. that they are not going to say they are doing. So I might as well talk about those things. So when you're the voice of Satan sometimes. I'm a, a voice of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I represent both of them. Yeah. It was nice. I really, I really enjoyed it. You know, you're set on O-Shape, you, uh, Skumba. Yeah, Mdu. Mdu. Probably the funniest night of comedy I've experienced in my entire life. Yeah. I was literally on the floor, rolling, laughing my ass off. Mm. So shout out to you. Thank you. Tell us about your Mozambican roots before we talk about where we are right now. Okay. So... My grandfather is from Mozambique, Mm. came to South Africa, met my grandmother, Makumete, and then they got married. By the way, my grandmother was married to an old before he tried to kill her, and then she pretended to be dead. Are you for real? Serious. Oh, wow. Yeah, she had a a scar here, and then I asked her about it. It I was, no, actually, Mwabo took her to this forest and tried to kill her because she wanted to leave him because he was abusing her. Ah, Yeah. So then she just pretended to be dead. Oh, wow. And then uh, the guy left, and then she crawled by the road. Someone picked her up and took her to hospital. And then a couple of months later, she met my grandfather, and then my father and his brother were born. And now, and, we, and now you now are here. Now I am here. So thank you to my grandmother for being smart. Bless her resting soul. Absolutely. Yeah. But at some stage you changed the surname. Why did you do that? Okay, so my father changed. Because you know when um, Amashangani come to South Africa, they will change like... Uh, stronger to people. Maybe keys there mm. or so that... You blend, you, get, yeah. you blend in. Yeah. So I think vic- there was a otherwise. Mwandla. Yes. There was, there's a, a Zulu Mwandla. Mm. So when my father came, he said, oh, okay, this is close enough. Mm. Then he changed his surname to Mwandla. I think my grandfather had changed it to Mwandla. Mm. Then when my father grew up, then I, I think maybe he saw his father's ID, Utai Man, mm. Mwandla. So he changed it back to Mwandla. He changed it back. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah. You and comedy, how did comedy happen to you? Yeah. Because you're so funny. You're I, very funny. And, I, and, and, and you know what I love about you? You are funny without even making an effort. That's a, the that's a thing, Uguti. Okay, whenever I used to tell stories, my friends would laugh. But that was never my intention, mm. Uguti. I, it, it, it's always just a perspective or the way that I think. You know, so, you're the kind of comedian who will tell us about how she almost died. <laughs> but we will laugh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was invited to a 21st birthday party because I, I have a background of uh, youth development. Sure. So I was invited to a 21st birthday party to MC the party. Mm. So of course, I know like young people from teenagers to late 20s, all they think about is men and getting married and sex. So I had to, I, like I did a research on Nguti, what are things that they are dealing with, you know, getting married. And and then when I presented, all of, of those people were just laughing. I'm like, mm. what, guys, what are you, why are you laughing? Because mm. I'm serious here. And then from <laughs> there, I started getting bookings to mm. then MC sure. and whatnot. And then I think it was 2015. And then only in 2016, because then I had quit my job. The last job I had, I was a data capturer. And... I just wasn't happy there. Mm. I, I just felt like I wasn't appreciated because I'm a hard worker. But they were not appreciating me. Mm. So I decided, it's okay, let me leave. I've got a company and I was going to carry on doing those life skills trainings. And then I saw a poster by Simpiwe Shembe. Uh, he had a comedy show, so I phoned him. I'm like, hey, you know, I think I'm fine. <laughs> so he says, do you have your own jokes? I'm like, yeah, I've got my own stories to tell. So I went, mm. I performed, and then from there, almost every weekend afterwards, I was performing. Yo. Yeah. yeah. But so you're such a performer, you even have ch three children. Four. Four now. Four, yeah. And you know, uh, last week... Uh, do you love children or do you love sex? Because one obviously is a consequence of the other. I, I think I love both because I at home it was just me and my sister. Mm. So now I like the idea of a lot of people around me. Ah, yes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what, what was I saying before? <clears throat> you have four children. I'm asking if you... If, four, yeah. So I was Which telling... one is it that you like? <laughs> parenting or the process? So I was posting on, on social media last week because I mm. had a son sure. who passed away. Mm. So then I was just, you know... and whenever I had feelings of missing him, I would suppress them and I wouldn't share them because I don't like people feeling sorry for me. Mm -hmm. So, but last week I just had this urge to just share. So I shared and one of the people on Facebook comments and they say, so are all these your children like yours, 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 yours? Because <laughs> now they are <laughs> counting and the numbers are just They're not no adding up. Yeah, it's not mathing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I love my kids and... They, I think they teach me mm. how to laugh. Because when, when I grew up, we went touchy with my mom. Sure, like, sure. So sometimes when they hug me, like I, I cringe and then I have to motivate myself to, like, yeah, okay, I love you. Okay, now move away from me. I still love you, but get away. <laughs> yeah, give me space now. Yeah. You know, you were inside me for nine months. Yeah, now I want like, space. Please, uh, go to your father. <laughs> so when you were sharing last week, what exactly were you sharing? I think um, the fact that it happened, mm. yeah, because... So this was losing your son? Yeah. So when did this happen? In 2009, mm. uh, July, end of July. I know it's a long time ago, but it's still, a long time ago. Askis, and I know thank it you. still hurts. Uh, yeah. So askis. Yeah, thank you. So, because, like, I'm strong, or I think I believe I am strong, so I don't like things that make me weak, mm. like... Mm. I won't cry maybe if something hurtful happens. Like, I won't cry, mm. but then I have to also talk to myself. So if I'm driving my car and then I'm like, okay, I think we need to cry now. <laughs> and, and then we have to check, like, okay, who's there? Is there anyone watching? Is there a car yeah. next to me? Uh, hey, if there's no car, then like, yeah, go for it, girl. And then so, <laughs> and then I still look at myself in the review mirror, like, how do I look? Oh, shit, I look bad. Like, okay, so why you are you opening your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. But everything I do is a conversation because maybe I'm controlling, mm. I, I control myself in a way. Which, sure. No, we have to present ourselves in this way mm. and we can't, mm. like, you, you don't look cool. Like, you don't look cool when you are crying. Are you one of those people that cry but look in the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you turn it into a whole event. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, I have to decide which way looks better. No? Yes. <laughs> Not like this. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's better. Like, it looks sexy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and just one tea and yeah. just one. And then you go. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel, though, sharing about losing your son? It felt good. Mm. It felt good because 
I believe that emotions are like little human beings mm. that you have to recognize. You have to acknowledge that, okay, this is here. This is how I'm feeling mm. now. Mm. And for you to be able to heal from it. Mm. So I think I was depriving myself of feeling that way for such a long time. Mm. And when I shared it, I felt like I wasn't the only one healing because then other women started sharing their stories. Mm. Oh, you know, this happened to me. And most of them, maybe it's been years, mm. but it happened. And, you know, we if, if I feel like talking about it, it's okay for mm. me to talk about it. Mm. It felt really good. I felt lighter. Yeah, yeah. Is the factory closed or is there space for number five? I like the question. It's a very good question. I, I hope I like the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I feel like I'm done because mm. like I work so hard. Like each time I fall pregnant afterwards, I, I dream. I don't know if you can see that. No, no I can see. <clears throat> if you told me you had four children, I wouldn't believe you. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I train so hard and I feel like it it holds me back. Plus, pregnancy, guys, like pregnancy is not cool. You know, mm. like there was a time when I would, uh, when my husband was sitting here mm. and he just smelled like in Zimbabwe mode and, and he's an accountant. So I'm like, are you now like a mechanic, <laughs> my brother? Because like this smell is just not smelling. You smell like oily right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you just hate him. Like I see my husband chewing. I'm like, what the hell? Like why are you chewing? Why are you chewing? <laughs> You, even your breathing is just making me very uncomfortable right yeah, now. Can you like, stop breathing what? just for an hour? But yeah. If, like, he can sit down. I'm like, this is all you can do. All you can do is just sit. He stands up. I'm like, yeah, now you're leaving me. Yeah, go. Go I, to your bitches. They told me you're leaving one day. Yeah, uh, yeah. All men are like that. All men are dogs. Go. Yeah. So, hey. It, 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 Ma Mara, you still did this four times. I still did it for time. It's 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 a love to hate. Ah, like it's an abusive relationship yes. where you, but you just keep going back because nothing about it is nice. And then once the baby's born, you're not gonna sleep for mm. months. Like sometimes I wanna have sex with my husband, and then the kids are uh, are knocking at, the, and they only knock when we are about to do it. Otherwise, they, they, they do they nothing. They are playing and they are doing... The do you know you can spend 10 hours doing nothing? They won't come. The minute the you minute are now you want to come. Then, mama. <laughs> no, I just want to tell you that I love you. Can, can you. can you not tell me that you love me right now? But can you give me one minute? Your dad just needs one minute. Yeah. yeah. There, there was a time where I actually had to, to have a conversation. It's then 10-year-old and the 6-year-old. Yeah. I'm like, guys, whenever you see me, because in, in, on the 31st of December, mm -hmm. I was feeling you know, ovulation. And sure. I, so I called my husband. Also, you're feeling the, very mm, animalistic. So I called my husband to the back of the house, because sure. then I know if it's during the day and I call mm. him to the bedroom, they'll come. So I'm yeah. like, yeah, let's just go mm. to the back. Mm. There's a rope there. Sure. We go there and then they come. Like, well, what I, so I, I'm, I'm like, Showing this part, I'm like, what are you, guys, what, are, what are you guys doing here? You know? They're like, no, I just wanted to give the dog food. Like at this, can, can at you? At this juncture. Ah, ah, ah. So they are always cramping my style. So did yeah. you manage to use the rock? Or? I did eventually, okay. because then you have to pretend like you're not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, go back to the house. There's nothing to see here. Fido sporty that side. <laughs> yeah. You had a show called Unfit Mom, Unfit yeah. Mother. Tell us about that show. So the show, it, it's it's about the fact that everything around me happens in my home, but mm. like I feel like I'm not involved. Mm. I'm not involved in in my kids growing because I feel like I've already done my part. Mm. So my husband does most of the things. So. I do feel like an unfit mother because mm. maybe, uh, like, I'm not excited about, you know, mothers cry when their kids are going to school for the first time. I'm not there. I'm mm. at the gym. Mm. My husband is dropping them off. And sometimes it's like, you know, I saw, like, a, a, a queue of mothers taking pictures with their kids and getting all emotional. And I'm like, I, bo, 
it's school. Everybody goes to school. There's nothing special about. I went to school. Exactly. As well. My mother didn't cry. Yeah. So what's the problem? Did. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't like. I don't find motherhood just happens for me. Mm-hmm. I don't. You're a passenger, Jay. I'm just there with them, <laughs> and we are figuring things out. And, and sometimes I call them my siblings. It's, Listen, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm just figuring this thing out. It's never happened to me before. So let's work together. <laughs> what can you do? Can you wash dishes? Okay, wash. Can you cook? Yeah. Cook. When are you two? What yeah. can you do? <laughs> yeah. Maybe just pick up papers. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you can do. What? Husband. Yeah. When are what can you do? Okay. Because like at first, I think being a closer man, mm. he was very big on wife duties. Mm. So I'm mm. like, listen, the people who put these rules in place are not even alive right now and we don't know how it worked out for them so how about we just come up with our own set of rules that are going to work for us exactly. so he's like yeah but you still have to iron my clothes so i woke up one morning i ironed his clothes and he was like okay it's okay you mm. don't have to iron my clothes anymore i'll do it myself i'm like Amen. my guy that's why i married you so yeah yeah i i, I love my family because they get me like they mm. don't expect anything from me mm. and you did your job when yeah you like carried I, you pushed i yeah and me being there makes the home warm exactly. like i don't have to do more than just coming back home and being a mom mm. like being a mom and watch tv like okay mm. can, can i do that but also i think it comes from my upbringing because my father mm. didn't have a son. Oh. So now, but he taught me everything. Fixing cars, we were fixing cars and I was fixing the lawn. We were changing brakes, mm. doing the car service. So I was never in the kitchen with my mom mm. and cooking food. So my sister did that with my mother. Mm. So whatever I learned, I just had to learn to survive. Like cooking, I, I just cook to survive. Both me and you. No, I'm not I, passionate. I will not be in the kitchen for more than 20 minutes. Anything that takes more than 20 minutes to make is not being made in like my kitchen. Why, why must we, we do that? Spend so There's much time in the kitchen. people who study yeah. to cook. Let them cook. Exactly. And let us do what we do. Yeah, which is being. being we, and we are human beings. <laughs> let us be. Yeah, let's just <laughs> be in the present. So there's a tragic story. There was a fire in a building in Johannesburg. Yeah. And they've discovered that the fire was caused by a jealous lover. She threw paraffin, I think, at her boyfriend or at the boyfriend's room or at the door. Ish. And the building caught a light. And then a couple sleeping in the next room burnt beyond recognition. Ish. So this woman is in court this week for causing that fire and obviously mm. for murder. Mm. Are you a jealous lover by any chance? I'm not, I am, mm. but not really. The reason, but you wouldn't burn a thing. I wouldn't burn a thing. The, the thing that I believe in is that we need to understand that we don't own human beings. Mm. Mm. So, like I always said to my husband, I want to have a relationship where, we can, where I can come back home and tell him, listen, mm. hey, or oh, I have a crush. Oh, and we can pray about it. Because if I can share my weaknesses yes. with my partner, we can pray about it and it, I can it, be strong. It must be a safe space. Safe space. Huh? Safe space. Yeah. Then he will know, like he will know even my type. Because, okay, let, if, if I'm going to hang out with this guy, I would like for you to be present so mm. that nothing exactly. there's happens. No, there's no temptation. Yeah, so... Yeah. Like, but the thing that we have as a people, we want to own other human mm, beings. And then now mm. I feel if, if you are having sex with someone else, it's not, it's got nothing to do with me. Like, the why are you, ups- <clears throat> are, like, are you upset because sex was had and you're not there? Like, why are you upset? Yeah. So you could have asked to join in then oh. if that's what you wanted or find someone to have sex with. There's, there's, there's a lot. You have a lot of options, my sister. Like. People were actually fighting with me on on TikTok, what I'm saying. Women should date mm. more guys. Like, don't only have one boyfriend. Mm. And this mm. boyfriend is not even telling you what his vision is exactly. for your future. Mm. You are wasting 10 years. There's no commitment, nothing. When you can have coffee there, go out with that one. Find out who's a better kisser. 
who's the, you know and then you can make a decision if more because if I'm I'm a, I'm a part-time worker mm. and I don't have a permanent contract I'm gonna look for another exactly. job exactly and see you must carry it and Iba is tombo move around like Babies, when I tell your boyfriend phones you, you are available all the time. When you are available, ah, nick. But yeah, he's working late. Yeah, no, nah, he, hey, over everyone get every man get sometimes it's not available. Even, but when uh, even a guy who's unemployed, hey, baby, tonight I'm working late. Ubiz, <laughs> working once we don't know is working. You see, ma, asazi, but ubiz, like everyone is busy. So now we are busy and just. Chill. Exactly. Like I feel like the only person I owe mm. a loyalty and fidelity is a husband. Mm. But a boyfriend, yeah. Mm. No, I mean. He must be on his toes. He hey, must hey, when I'm he calls, he must he must hope I'm you will answer. He mustn't relax. Even when you are with him and clientele life phones you, mm. just pretend that it's a guy. <laughs> Yeah, no. Like, would you like? Would, would you like life insurance? Do you like Desmond Tube? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, but but not right now. Yeah, but like, me, like cause my father used to tell me, would he, men are naturally." Hunters, you sure, know, like that. Sure, sure. When have you seen a pubes hunting an animal that was just like sitting there? No, Wait, waiting, uh, waiting eating. to like, like a chicken like, dust. Like <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they are chasing the one that is fast running. Yeah. So now you need to have that mindset. You must so, be, uh, you must be tassa tassa uh, yourself. Be peace, be peace. Yeah. And I always say to wives, if you are a wife, mm. maybe you are unemployed and your husband is a lawyer, mm. just make maquinias and go sell at the office because mm. everyone is going to have lunch and you must be there to provide it. Or just do a three months admin course. Mm. Go and manage Be the present. books. Be present. Yeah, just yeah. move on, move on, so that he's reminded. Because sometimes husbands forget that they have wives. Absolutely. Mm. And when sometimes you, wives also forget that they. And have when you're selling amakuinya at outside his law firm, you must look hotter than everyone in the law firm. Hotter. 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 Yeah. You must be amakuinya hot. Mm. Mm. I'm a massive fan of your work. Thank you so I'm much. I'm easily your biggest fan right now. Sure. Like easily, easily. Yes, easily. Are, are you listening? Yeah. Mm. I hope you're talking to everyone else, not your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trouble me. <laughs> no, my husband is cool. Shame. Oh, so he's cool. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. He okay. doesn't mind. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So what does that mean? He's chilled. Oh. <clears throat> what else does that mean? He's a good man. Oh, mm. okay. God fearing man. Ah, mm. okay. Mm. Also, I wear a rosary also. Mm. Mm. So, where can we catch you in action? Uh, I've got a show on the 14th of February at mm. Gateway Hotel. Okay. Love as Comedy Night. So, nice. we are celebrating love. We are celebrating love with oneself. We are celebrating love with other people. Mm. And it's just going to be a good time. I've got um, Ndu. I've got Ndu Misolindi. I've got Do Me Stop Nonsense. I've got Justice Kupega. A Oscar Omunche mm. and myself. So you have a good show. I've got an amazing show. Sure. I think it's the f um, yeah Oscar. I think it will be the first time that he's performing in in Durban, mm. and I brought him there. So really, I'm doing the Lord's work here. Absolutely, mm. Mm. absolutely. Yeah, you should be the minister of uh, arts of and culture. Something. Arts and culture. Yeah. Mm. And I always refer to myself as a doctor because sure. you know that comedy heals. Do you mm. know that actually people can fall pregnant from watching a comedy show? Did you know? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Tell, yeah. us, tell us more. Yeah, they can because they can see there's uh, juices that are being oh, okay. put, uh, sure. coming down there when you are laughing, endorphins. Mm. Mm. And then, so when you go home with your, you partner, are right. It's yeah, you don't even need a full play. Mm. Like, Did you hear what not to say? <laughs> Take off your clothes, <laughs> go right there. You are chilled. You're not even thinking about falling pregnant, and it's done. And mm. ovulation came a week early. Yeah, because of uh, comedy. Hey, bra, but the thing about ovulation, would seem it can make like it turns my mind into a hole. Because anything, like I could be sitting next to a guy at a taxi, mm. and then there's something that, that is like a music that plays. Like, mm. And it's like, 
you know, we're about to do something. Even at say, when I go for my haircut, mm. then the guy's like, sister, please. Like he pulls my head like this. Yeah. And it feels, whether, whether you think <gasps> it's foreplay. <laughs> it's very nice. Or oh, at the gym, yeah. when the instructor is putting my hands, like, okay, this is a different kind of pop play. But <laughs> Stretch me, <laughs> Papa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, ovulation. Where do we find you on social media? Social media is nonto underscore R on Instagram. I've also got a website, mm. www.nontor.co.za. So, most of my show, every time I have a show, I'll load it there. Okay. So, people can buy tickets there. Nonto R on Facebook. Nonto underscore R on TikTok. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel. Not R can catch up with my videos and my thoughts. I think you should also post on your website the week you're ovulating so we all stay away from so, you. So, yeah. Oh, you see, because we, yeah. we must protect you from yourself. Protect me. Yeah, you You see, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Remember idea. the name. She's very funny. You roll on the floor laughing. Nonto R. Thank you. This is Wow! What, what a week. What a week. Celebrity guest. Celebrity guest. Welcome back to Wow! What a week. Our celebrity guest is in the building. He's been involved in a range of things in the entertainment arena, from acting to presenting and even the culinary side of things. However, he's about to experience two new additions to his life, additions which are about to make him a whole lot busier. So we thought we'd get him in for a chat before his life gets more hectic. Please give a warm welcome to Moshe Almura Guy and a gay Ndiki. <laughs> this is me waiting for no 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 studio, <laughs> no no audience, no live audience. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. We, we, thank we, you, thank you. We thought we, we should allow you an opportunity to belela yourself. And <laughs> you can do the applause. Just, you know. Um, is that guy wearing tights or is it a girl? Looks like a guy in tights. Just look out the window there. Sorry, guys. You obviously I, can't I, see. I, I there, love there, that. there, 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 there. Is that I, a guy or a girl? I'm, I'm, I'm not really interested in... Oh, it's a girl. I thought it was a guy. It just oh, looks man, weird. Boring. Eh? boring. Why? Oh, yeah, I, we I, look I for don't different subscribe. things. Eh, yes. Oh, for me, a guy in tights is weird. For you, it's like stock. Eh, it, 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 is, it is God's way of saying I created Earth for you and only you. Yeah, yeah understand, Orlando? It's a gift that keeps on giving because even when they're wearing tights, I know uh, it's not like I was going to look at the knees. Yes, yes, I was yes. going to look... At the bee's knees. The bee's knees. Yeah. What you say about that, Tendi? About what? <laughs> <laughs> Mujer, yes. Welcome, my dude. Thank you so, so much. Um, this is literally my my first podcast. You're lying. I, I promise. For I, real? I've been running away from doing, like, podcast interviews. What were you running away from? I don't know. Apparently, because I know myself. I... And... Then, now I'm going to end up saying things, and then... You're going uh, to end up saying things that you mean. That's the thing. Which is sometimes a problem. Yes, that's the, yeah, that's the thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Whew. You know what? No, man, it's 2024. Let me just do it. So, yeah. So you're going to say things that you mean? You, you've, been, you've been my first of many. Fresh. Yeah, for real? Yeah. Hey, but nah. First podcast, you're the first celebrity that I took a picture with. Where? Ever. Vincent Park downstairs by in East London. Oh wow. You're wearing a green t shirt and shorts. Mm. It was but by Musica at Musica downstairs. I, 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 I know the exact t shirt you're talking about. Yeah. I know the exact t shirt you're talking about. So you've about. been my first Hmm, so for many, I've been, for me, for I've, I've been you, Musa. Yeah, you, you've been. So, 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 so how are you feeling right now? <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's in. It's in. <laughs> Just by the nose, though. Just the nose. Anyway, let's stop. Let's stop. I last had a chat with you about five years ago. Yes. A lot has happened in your life in the last five years. Yes. But let's talk about this week for now. This is Wow, What a Week. How's your week been? What you been up to? Um, yo, I've been shooting. Um, I've been shooting uh, diaries and episodes um, for my new show. Uh, not just a reality show. Mm -hmm. um, Umdase, say a show that seeks to find a result between siblings uh, from Zanzi Magic. So that's yeah. what I've been shooting. I've been also um, minding my business. Um, I take that as a blessing because there's Tandy Zindo. My man, minding your own business sometimes is the best thing you can do for yourself. Like, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, spending time with my friends. Um, 
what else what else have i been doing mm. oh yes spending a lot of time with my kids sure, as well sure so yeah um that's literally it i've just been in my own little bubble so for instance uh you know when you arrived here uh, you're complaining about how there happens to be a bottle of wine in your hand in your bag Oh, oh, sorry, was that off the record? I mean, uh, but also, I wouldn't say it was a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a complaint. It was just, oh, by the way, there's a bottle of wine in my bag. And then there's also a Bible. And then there's also a Bible. There's also a packet of edibles. And then there's also a packet of edibles. So your bag is literally a party. It is. You, you know what? Um, when, you've, when you've got to see the Lord <laughs> in the morning, and then when you've got to run away from the Lord in the afternoon. Sure. Yeah, so something along those lines. So what does your bag say about your week this week? Um, I went to church. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got back from church. <laughs> I got stoned. <laughs> Sometimes it's just, and then I also did have wine. Yeah. Just, just something your Toby leaves me. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> something, something to just sit down and reflect on the sermon and be like, oh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have an edible. And then I had an edible. And I, it's like, so this guy sat in the belly of a, sh- of a, like, of a whale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so literally, it's a reflection of what my Sunday looked like. Yeah. No wonder. Ish, yeah. Monday, I woke up. I was a bit dizzy. I was like, what the hell did I do yesterday? And I was literally at home. Yes. Sir. I was literally at home and I cooked. Mm. Um, not because of the munchies, but because sure. it was Sunday. It was Sunday lunch. Um, so, and I cook like a, a nice, cute, beautiful spread. Sure. And then, obviously, I'm a sweet. I'm a, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm a tubula sweet, man. No, then, I'm a wine, nine, nine. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> You know, people are going to think we've been eating your edibles, so let's stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, and we, 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 we haven't. This is us in our, in, in our sure. humble abode. You humble abode, you uh, have It's a humble abode, but I'm renting. Oh! Yeah, it's a, it's a cuckoo function here. Okay. So, yeah, it's a squatter okay. camp. We're, we're squatting here. No, I can tell by the carpets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the carpets. I'd love to say love what you've done with the place, <laughs> but you know... You know, um, let's not say that. Let's not go there. Uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> you're, you're you're a mummy's boy. Yes, I am. Tell us about mom. Uh, my mom, a uh, single mother. Yeah. Um, uh, yo, it's always been me and her. Mm. Um, an only child uh, to my mom. Sure. Um, you know, I, I that's where I learned my cooking. That's where I learned my compassion, uh, my forgiveness, sometimes to my detriment. Um, that's where I got my sense of humor sure. as well. You know, mm-hmm. she's quite, you know, the <laughs> yeah. love my ass off lady. Um, I, 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 I don't see myself really, um, being here without my mom, sure. you know, sure. well, physically, I mean, she's at mm-hmm. home, she's taking care of the kids, but sure. cause I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know, um, she's, she's played such an important role in my life by just letting me be you know, and just not tolerating me, but accepting me. Absolutely. You know, um, I remember even when I... But there's a big difference. Very much. Yes, yes, yes. I remember even when I came out to her... um, So you think she didn't know? Hey, and I was like, hi, wait, now, hey, how's your tendons acting? So So she knew. she, she says that she didn't know. It took it by surprise. I'm like, oh, I'm so Hi, you're surprised. Hi, well, I'm sure like, I know when you were born, when they smacked you, you're like, hey. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> so not even that. I'm just like, okay, yes, I did have girlfriends, you yeah. know. Um, but also, I mean, I will kill I now. We. I will papa plex ship. It was so cool. I will sana. You know what I mean? Because um, it, it was first, it was very rocky. I remember it was a year and two months mm. where it felt like she was tolerating me and it was just a matter of, okay, because but mm. after that year and two months and when I stood my ground, I was just like, no, my lady, that is not how we do things. Exactly. You know, you've lived your life. It's what it me. is. Exactly. Yes, you know, yes, yes. but now we talk about everything. So, so how old were you when you... I was 17 years old doing my first year, mm. fresh in Johannesburg, mm. got my first boyfriend the first guy that broke my bum genity. Hey, uh, <laughs> I 
I, 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 oh, like that's, I was that, that, fresh and I thought I was in love. That's why you shouldn't be on a podcast. Oh, yeah, well, no, because I, yeah, well, no, I say things and I forget that there are cameras around. Uh, yeah, I, I broke my chiniti yeah, yeah. because, but the other chiniti was already gone. Zongi chin, I want bendangi na chiniti by the end of that year. But when you were having girlfriend, yes. How much of a? But this is not you, Moshe. Did you go through? Yes, in the fresh, I don't. I think essentially in doing I I like things. Ah. Also. So you made I the most of it. I, anyway. I like ne para pa pa. <laughs> so for me, it's not really. I'm not, I'm not by, by any means. I'm not identifying. I don't identify as bisexual. Sure. Yes, I am gay. But I man, he kills us and as then zanga and do search ma. If it was me and the girl left on earth, sure. Hi, bo. Kalo, let's keep each other company. Oh. And, so, and let's repopulate. Eh, we sent you if ever like. Oh. You, you, you know, well, it, well, it, it is my cute. Well, the new age Adam and Eve it, right it, it now. It is my cute. Exactly. You know Country what I mean. Duty. So um, even when I, I think I went from straight to curious, questioning to bisexual and then to being gay, mm. you know, um, and it was not an easy journey, especially like coming from the Eastern Cape and in those times. But often when people look at a journey like that, yeah, um, the, they are the quickest to say, you see, being gay is a choice. No. You know I mean, what I mean? I, I mean, it, 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 I definitely don't think it's a choice. I don't, I, I wouldn't choose to be um, being called more sure, and uh, being sure. bullied in school. Yeah, you wouldn't choose a journey um, that's going to get you abused. Exactly. I, yes. I really, I, I, I wouldn't mm. choose that journey. Sure. So I, I, I don't think it, it was never a choice. It was more of a transition mm. of, um, okay, cool. This is where I am and this is what I'm ready to accept myself as right now. And then eventually you get sick and tired of living for society and people. Exactly. And I'm just like, I wait until I'm going to go to school. I'm because I remember, like, I, even the, the reason why I came out to my mom was because of my first boyfriend. Do you know where you were when you and mom had this conversation? Yes. Um, I had just gone home. I had broken up with my boyfriend because he was cheating. Ah, yes. Um, and it was... You, why not? Were you a city varsity at the time? Yes. Okay. Oh, I, yo, I, I remember when the ten pack man, it's a little rugby, baby. And I... Oh, I, yo, that, so that, that, had, that was so a man. Had, so he had thighs like mine. He had thighs like yours, I'm for sure. <laughs> 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 but like yours, I, I, I don't know when I con you know, this thing of confirming, uh, it's not my thing. Denying is my thing. Um, so I was in love. Uh, found out he was cheating. We broke up. I was depressed. We went back home. And my mom knows me to be mm. a groovy style. Sure. You're back for holidays. You're not going out. You're mm. not eating. You've been in your room. I'm just like, yo, and quality, and then, and then, and, and then I literally had to tell her, I was like, yo, um, I broke up with my partner. And then it's like, oh no, what did she do? I'm like, ha, do I have a story for you, my darling? Are, are you sitting down? <laughs> oh, you are sitting down. And then I was like, no, let me write a letter. I wrote a letter for her. And then I went um, outside and then I watched her from the window as what, she was what, reading what it. What did the letter say? Uh, Dear mom, I've been wanting to tell you this for some time now. I'm mm. gay. Oh no, I said I'm bisexual. Sure. Um, I'm bisexual. Um, because you know, with parents, they're always blaming other people sure, and blaming sure. friends. I'm like, don't blame my the, friends the that are openly keep. gay. Yeah, yes, yeah. you know, don't blame my friends that are openly gay. And then, and, and so this guy cheated. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to live without him. Mm. Ha, he, ha, 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 ha. Mm. He was my moon, the earth and the sun. I breathe. Ha, young And then, um, she tore the letter up. And I was like, so, okay, so, cool. okay, so you're outside. I'm what? watching from the window. From the window. Yes. Okay. And then she tore the letter up, and that's when I was like, okay, cool. Hey, Moshe, you're homeless. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because obviously, I'm not getting inside this house. Um, and then um, we had the conversation, and I was like, oh, yeah. She's like, for how long have you known? I was mm. like, for, you know, maybe two to three years now. Mm. Remember when I was speaking about Uspogaz, it was actually Usipo. Oh, wow. I remember, like, because oh, every time I tell her about relationships, mm. I would turn the guy's name into a girl. Ah, yeah. Because I essentially, like, I grew up being very close to my mom, mm. everything. We used to speak about everything, relationships. But now, go, go. You, hey, have to, you have to dilute things. Hey, when go, go, no, see, and, and you, you know, um, it was just very frustrating. But we sat down, um, and I really do feel like, Nyan, in that year when 
you know, when I feel like she was tolerating me. Mm. But she'd ask me about, okay, these holidays, are you coming back? Are you dating girls or guys or whatnot? I'm like, that's not even a question that you mm. ask. Like, mm. ask me what am I going to be getting up to, you know, these did, holidays. Did it sometimes get awkward between you? Yeah, it, it, it definitely did. Mm. It definitely did. Um, that's Like, I know it was a year and two months because I literally lost my mind i was like you know what i'm not coming home anymore mm. um it's fine you don't have to pay for my school fees i'll do by my i'll do well by myself he ha he ha yo yeah but listen also google tv fresh yes but listen also google tv how did i think i was going to do by myself what was a big idea exactly but because my mom knows she was just like no there's no need for that come no, yeah. just come back let's yeah. speak about it and now we literally speak about everything i remember uh this uh, the, the first time when we were even speaking about the sex when she asked me so mm-hmm. are you <laughs> <laughs> or do you or do you <laughs> Are you? Are you or do or you? Do you? <laughs> At that point, I'm like, I'm like, did you, did you? <laughs> it's like, we're playing, we're playing toy guns. I'm like, did you, did you? Do like, you? Are you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Uh, do you? Do you? Do you? Like, I'm like, hey, I, 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 I and yes, but mom, I'm a verb. Sometimes yeah. I do, I'm a doing words. Yeah, doing words. And sometimes, Sometimes I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an omelette. I'm done. I'm a verb. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, she's like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, over the years, um, it's been, it's been great. You yes, know, sir. I'm from uh, when I was 17 to mm. now being 31 years old. Mm. Um, she's been my rock. She's sure. been there for me through at my relationships, my divorce, my marriage, mm. my new relationships. Okay, one thing about my mother, she will she will love the next the next partner I have yeah. as much as she loved the other one. Absolutely. Ah, yeah, it's Coco Samez, yeah. Mm. But oh, who's new? Oh, okay. love you, boy. Uh, welcome oh, home. Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, my girl. All right. Oh, daughter. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 When I don't come in. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we, we've got that open relationship and she's just amazing. What did you guys talk about this week with Ma that stood out? With my mom, we spoke about the her anxiety about the reality show. Mm. My anxiety um, around the reality show. And she was like, okay, why am I nervous? Because mm. I'm never nervous with all of my other shows. Mm. And I'm just like, with this one, it's 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 me, you know. And contrary to prior belief, ooh, ha, <laughs> I, I, I learned that from my English teacher from high school. She, he used to be like, contrary to prior belief, I'm not here for my health. So I've been, <laughs> Mr. Montford, I hope you're watching. <laughs> contrary to prior belief, wait, now. Um, I'm not, I, I don't live a very dramatic life. My, I, my life is actually, my life is boring, but the events are mm. quite interesting, okay. you know? So, I was so, like, so when it events, it events. When it, when, it, when it events, it events. And I'm just like, there's some of the things that, you know, that, that even come up in the, in the show sure. that I'm just like, oh my word. Should I have said that? Mm. And um, also because I am executive producer sure. of the show. Um, so it's my production company. Uh, it's a 50-50 collaboration sure. with Mushendiki Pictures and Simamo Productions. That is so So dope. now it's just like, oh my word, I, 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 what do I do about the things that I've already said, the yes. things that I've already done? And I'm just like, actually... As a producer, mm-hmm. for me, it's TV gold. It's sure, fine. Exactly. Let me, but as much, I'm just like, oh no, can't I say, but guys, please cut that out. And I had to sit down with my business partner and be like, please don't. I'm not comfortable uh, about that. No, 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 no. Yes, I yeah. had to say, no, no, no. I was like, whatever. If I say I'm comfortable about something, just act like you're listening to me. Don't listen sure, to me. This sure. is the exact speaking. Susun <laughs> Mamela. Susun Mamela. Put it on whatever makes for great sure. TV. Just mm-hmm. put it on there because it's as real as it is. Absolutely. Um, so I was speaking about, you know, um, that anxiety and, my kids uh, recently turned five months mm. and we were just reflecting on what the past five months have been like, mm. what they have felt like for me. And they've been weird. I, I, I made two human beings. Mm. Nah. Mm. Nah. So, so you had a surrogate. Yes, right. I had a surrogate. So, so, so did you have to go into a room or did you surrogate? No, 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 no. Into a room. Into oh. a room. No, can relapse. Eh? 
Ah, I can't relax. No, no, no. I said, did you have to go into a room with a test tube? Eh, no, they give you... They give you uh, 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 and then... Uh, 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 it's like a leather seat. And yes, I don't know why, because there's this other place it, that... Because it must feel sexy. Eh, uh, but... The, yeah. In the next thing, let the abanda land, and then bundu zamzim like is abanda. And then it gets stuck. Eh, <laughs> uh, because now I'm just like, okay. So now I had to take matters into my own hands, yeah, you know. So now I'm also watching um something for encouragement. Eh, uh, encouragement. Yes. Yeah. Umfana, the one that I'm watching, as in the encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. Now I copy five liters. I'm gonna copy another. <laughs> I'm like, but I find it, Lendo. <laughs> like, will a child come out of this year? <laughs> exactly. Fresh, when I tell you, that was the thing, I mean, when they take um, milk from the cow, yes, when the, yeah, when they're milking a cow. Yeah, I was literally milking myself. And then I was like, I was like, I'm uh, like, <laughs> but you know what that experience taught me? Yeah. It's not about the quantity yes. except for the quality absolutely because look now mm. i'm telling you in because fact, i literally i was like i'm an indian to my yellow fan but i am in that in the package then the package and the bashir and i and then i was like yeah i get all the best but don't have them and then here i am so for couples that want to go into surrogacy yes take us through the do's and don'ts that you learned on your journey um, I think for, well, for couples, for straight couples or heterosexual couples, mm. they do it for a number of reasons. Maybe, um, the lady does have eggs, the, mm. let's say the wife does have eggs, mm. um, and maybe, but she's not, she can't to, carry, she can't carry sure. to full term. Okay. Sharp surrogacy is an option mm. for queer couples. Um, either it's two, um, ladies or whatever game mm. they identify as they, them, sure. um, a conto. Um, the, it's a, surrogacy is a viable option as sure, well. Sure, sure. Um, do's do a lot of research. Please just turn your mic. There you go. Yeah. No, 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 oh, no, oh, no. Not, not, that. not that kind of show. No. Oh, I thought it was wow. No, no. Wow. <laughs> what a white. Wow. Uh, wow. No. Okay. no. Uh, so, so sorry about that. Um, okay. So, um, do's do a lot of research. Sure. Definitely a whole lot of research. Mm. Do a whole lot of therapy before. Sure. Because you're going to need it. Because you're going to need a whole lot of patience. Mm. Um, my process took me quite a while. Um, with many stop and goes, stop and goes, stop and goes. Uh, the first stop and go was um, COVID. Sure. And I was like, okay, cool. Am I even going to be alive? Mm. Um, how is having kids uh, post-COVID going to look like? Mm. Um, second, am I really going to be doing this by myself? Sure. Or do I want a partner to do it with? And I was like, okay, cool. Let me just take some time to think mm. about it. Mm. And I was like, actually, I've always wanted to do it by myself either way. Um, a partner would have been a bonus. But sure. you know what? I was raised by a single mother. Mm. And I'd like to think I am fully functional. Sure. S somewhat, <laughs> yeah, fully functional human being. Yes, sir. So it can be done. Mm. Um, but as much as much as you will do your research, mm. and everything is written in black and white. Sure. There will always be something that will just take you off your course, and you'll be like, okay, the contract and the research that I've done could have never prepared me for this. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah. even like now, with I think my biggest thing was um, the the detachment mm. with my surrogate because I chose someone that I know. Ah. So as much as there is a contract what, that the what, kids are mine. What conversations did you have with your surrogate? Before, before during or after? Just what, what have you guys been talking? Um, before we were definitely like, Oh no, she was like, I do not want any kids. Mm. Um, I do not want any kids that she was very much clear. She mm. was like, she doesn't want any more kids. Um, and okay, but also oh, she's a mother already. Yes, she's a okay. mother already. Okay. So by law, if you are going to be a surrogate, mm. um, if you're going to carry someone else's child, you must have had a child of your own. Oh, in yes. case you become attached. Uh, and then no, 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 not even that. But what? just a proof of life. But oh, okay. dance, you've done this you before. Capable. Yes, you've yes. done this before. Mm. Um, and to throw a spanner in the works, uh, my surrogate is married as well. Jeez, okay. You know, so it was the whole con um, having the conversation with her, the um, husband, um, about how we're going to do this. So, were you there when she broke it to the husband? Or did you yes, come in we, afterwards? Yes, we, we had to tell. Well, I think she told him before, and then it was me having a meeting with him Jeez. and calling him and being like, 
Hey, um, so I'm a fly on the wall at that meeting. What happened in the meeting? Your son, uh, essentially, may I please knock your wife up? <laughs> And don't, and don't worry, don't be personal. Hey, there's not, it's, it's nothing like that, yes, yes, you know. Yes, yes. Um, and, you know, he dealt with it with so much grace and so much patience, mm. you know. Um, and he, like for me, I, I always say he's a real life superhero, that guy. Mm. Um, he's been so patient, um, even with her when she was hormonal mm. and she wouldn't want to eat this. And then she would eat this and she would so, be happy. She would be angry. She'd so, be sad. She'd be. So, so when she was craving uh, chicken licking, did she call him or you? Sometimes she'd call me, but most of the time, because he's there in the yeah. house, because they stay together. It becomes I, his problem. They, it was more, it was mostly <laughs> his problem, you know? Um, so I, like even like with that process, it do a lot of research, but even that research, don't yeah. even blame yourself when things don't pan out the way that you have envisioned it. Sure. It doesn't work out in your timing, but mm. it just trust the process essentially. So your arrangement worked out. Yes, it did. But what's the worst that could have happened in terms of it not working out? What were you warned about that could happen? I would definitely... I think it, it's literally, I, I mean, it's, it's the attachment. Mm. It's, it's the attachment. Um, and just oh, how do I introduce her to the kids sure. um, as? Mm. And, and like, do you introduce her? And do I even introduce her? And I was sure. like, yes, actually. Because mm. she was a part of my life before the kids, mm. um, during the kids, because of her. And even after the kids, um, she got to meet them, spend some time with them. And for me, it was more of a look at your beautiful work. Yes. You know, mm. um, and as much as she's not related to the kids, mm. because it's my mm. sure. um and um, my egg donor, sure. and then put together embryo, and then she's just a carrier. So she was just a womb for it. Yes, yeah. Basically. She's just a carrier. She's not related to the kids. Okay. But you can just imagine the bond sure. um, for someone to be carrying these kids for, it's like, what, for nine it's, months. It's inevitable. You know, yes. so... It was literally like, screw the contract, what the contract says. Mm. But from birth, I just take the children and mm. she doesn't have to see them. I was like, for me, exactly. so I was like, no, actually, I, I know what the contract says, but I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Mm. Um, no, she, she has to see them. Sure. You spoke about the detachment. Yes. What, what did you mean by that? Um, that it's not actually her kids, mm. you know, that's, that's where the detachment, the detachment for her mm. needs to come from, but it's not her kids. Mm. Um, this was, this is part of the process. Sure. And obviously she also had to go, you know, for therapy, uh, to make sure that she's okay. She understands the process, mm. um, and not to take away from the good that she has done Absolutely. and the, 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 the good deed that she has done for me and my family in all of this craziness. Why do you think the stigma especially in the black community around surrogacy? I don't know. Like, um, I think see, we, we, we get to, we, we like to get our accolades from pain. Mm -hmm. You know, um, for instance, umchato, if you see, if, if you see umchato is not working and then you stay for longer than you should because it's probably, yeah, we've got sure, that thing, you know, sure, but sure. we were going to get a badge of honor from mm -hmm. Yeah, my, um, my scars, my scars are, my, are, my, are my, my, my story, my, 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 what's this thing? My stretch marks are mm. God's lightning and ah, no, no, you call it, uh, no, mm. you know, um, so by, it's, by, it's okay to actually find happiness. Exactly. Mm. Literally. And it is okay to ask for help outside. If you know that as, you know, as umfazi, whether one cross or one or whatnot, as um, 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 if you can't carry, there are other ways. Sure. You can ask someone to carry, but if you don't carry it yourself, you're seen as you're less of a woman. You ask another woman to carry your you child and parent. whatnot. You, you, you're hey, of when no you use. Parent, you're of no use mm. and whatnot, of which that is literally not the case. Especially because as Africans, we've always been solutions driven. Yes, yes. And, and, and that's why in our culture, there was never poverty. Exactly. Moshe would never go to bed without food. Exactly. There is always a solution. But now, not any solution. It's yeah. surrogacy. I don't mm. understand why there is such, um, a, the, there's a pushback. Um, I don't want to take it as far as saying, as soon as a surrogacy was made more open, mm. you know, um, in terms of, it was not only IVF for heterosexual sure. couples. Mm. It was open to anyone who wants to be a parent. Absolutely. Um, mostly, Gengogo, obviously, Uzabako, Omushe, who are gay. Mm. They're going to be lesbian couples and whatnot. Now, all of a sudden, 
it is getting a pushback, you know. Mm. Um, it's giving a tinge of homophobia, mm. just a tinge. Mm. Um, but I haven't done my research, um, and you know, um, as much as but why is there such a huge pushback in Goku? But sure. from what I've seen, ina abu tinge a nyana yoku. Ah, and no, and yes, it's funu spalela nga pagat. Na just funu procreate. Si afu na gadu procreate. It's a procreate. So it's been what five months now. Yes. How how's how's fatherhood treating you? It is beautiful. Mm. I look at my babies and What are your babies' names, by the way? Um Gotalanda and okay. Ndaba. Okay. Gender, you'll find out on the show. Ah. Um but Ngotalanda and Ndaba. He's a TV guy. Yeah. You must come back after the ad, <laughs> after these ads. Uh, after uh, <laughs> <laughs> keep them clued to exactly. the screen. We, exactly. Um, Gotalanda Nondaba, and every time I look in their eyes, I'm just like, "Wow, God is good," mm. you know. And one thing, do they look process, like you? Or, they definitely do look or like the me. The egg donor. Um, well, with the egg donor, we I'm not allowed to know her. Okay. I'm not allowed to see her. Not allowed to meet her. Mm. Um, not allowed to get a picture of her. I can't get a picture. So the eggs are sourced from where? Um, from from here herself. No, no, no. As in, is there a place where they? Oh, yes, 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 okay. yes. At the clinic. Or at the fertility. Clinic. Yes, at the okay. fertility clinic. Okay. So she'll come through. She'll donate. But put, but but do then... they but do they give you the specs of the egg donor? Yes, no, of course. Um, there's a thing called Nurture Portal. You go on there after you've so registered. So there's a whole catalog. Yes, a catalog. But okay, do you want black, white, Indian, Chinese? Short, um, tall, big short, bumps, tall, what small not? Bumps. And oh, then wow. um, they like on their profile. They ask, okay, if you if they were to be given a million rand, what would they do with it? Mm. Um, what would they pack in a picnic basket? Um, a pro basically a profile on their family, their lifespan. Um, what type of eyes do they have? Are they short? Their is height in the family? Is diabetes? There... Is anyone on antidepressants? Or what wow. not? What not? What yes. not? Like all of that. So it's as thorough as you can get. Yes. Um, but without seeing the person, sure, because sure. Um, and also you can get a picture of them when they were younger and a picture of their kids if they've got kids. Ah. So you you change just to check with each jeans. But now I say no jeans are more like No 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 no. They they came to the party and funny enough, like they, they my, both of my kids look like me. Sure. And. They look like my mom as well. The parts where they look like but my mom. But obviously, that you got twins. You got two for the price of one. Oh, oh, oh I want to say for the price of one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the sort of case is expensive. I, 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 I'm from a clock. It is okay, expensive. So you got a bonus. You got a bonus. Yeah, yes and no. Yeah. Um, but the way in which um, it happened was they said, okay, you put in two embryos. Mm. Um, because one might just not reject, hold. It might reject. Yes. It. Yeah, the body might so reject. just in case. Sure. And then I was like, okay, sharp, maybe. Mm. And they'd be put in two. And then both of them, they, you know, babamba. Yeah. Like, and every time they, like, they're crying at the same time, I'm like, hey, one of you is not supposed to be here, Nina. Kono me when you fluke up. But Kia Kono, the daddy loves you. It's a blessing. Yeah, blessing. So they're not identical then? No. But they are so they are so. So they're two different versions of you. Yeah, definitely. Um, one looks like my more like my mom's family, sure. and then one looks like more of my dad's family. One looks exactly like my granddad, mm. so they look like their great granddad. Um, and yeah, maybe, yeah, but maybe they the ears, the ears, my ears. I I feel like my ears are. Then, then, they right. In the best of I, I'm sure that's the mother, son. It's from the mother, son. Ah, mother's day, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In a bubu mother's day, yeah. But also, funny enough, like yeah. the ears, like the, the ears look like my current partner's ears. Mm. And I come down on the song, I be not tata up. Um, Dana, Ufana no tata omon tayo. That's what I gotta say on that. A child will look like whomever is being for the school fees. Absolutely. Exactly. And and, and it's almost like uh, a God has a sixth sense of humor. He'll make sure. Uh, he, he, will, oh, he will definitely make sure. He will definitely make sure. And like, because now my thing is, okay, Shab, but now what if I break up with my current partner? Then now I'm going to do with the same ease so that at least they can relate. You must either hang in there in Begezela there. Ah, okay. Begezela is not my portion. Oh, you must rekangela. No, no, no. I, 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 I will rekangela. I, I don't well, mind. I, I think I'm that type of person, actually. Mm. Um, even when I've been hurt, in love, mm. humiliated, and all of that, sure. um, gone through the most with love, I've never had a thought of, I want to give up on love. Sure. I am going to give up on love. Mm. I love love. I love falling in love. 
I love being in love we, all the time. We, we have the same problem. I'm na I love you. I back to back meetings. Sure. But my 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 back on something. So your, your your HR department is always hiring. Eh, ma, oh, also look who post. There's always a post. Yeah, every every lecture, there's always a post. Sometimes. Well, HR does not look through his CV. You realize later yes, that hey. there's no PhD here. Hey, ah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who then? Ah, <laughs> uh, qualification. Ah, uh, 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 work well under pressure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> willing to work extra hours. Ah, a yiko, a yiko. So then, then HR, HR must be in a so we, we we need to be out there, you know. Um, but I, I I I don't like. I've never wanted to give up on love. I don't think I'm the type to give up on love. Yes, Mtambi, I'll be clo breaky. Okay, again, this is Jay whole phase. Jay, just to sharpen the knife, Jay. Do me long, my guy. Hey hey. Hello, hi 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 hi. I'm sad. Yeah, no, no. So, but I I really am a one man man. Sure. You know, I'm a one person person. Mm. Um, I I I I love being soaked up in that one person or what mm. they like. Um, introducing them to the things that I like. Sure. Um, just making life easier for them and them making life easier for me. Not that I can't do it by myself. I definitely can. Um, but just to be, just us being immersed in each other's worlds. Sure, absolutely. Love that. Let's talk about lessons. Yes. Um, and, you know, it'll be a wide array of lessons. Um, for instance, lessons about what lessons did you take from before you came out, for instance? And, uh, and and that maybe you can share with other people that are walking that journey. Yeah. Yes. Um, my voice matters. Mm. Um, I think that was the scariest thing for me. I think ever since I found out my voice matters, that's why I've never stopped talking ever since. I was about to say, the, the problem was when you discovered when that I you have discovered a voice. I, oh, I get V6 tempo. I get it done now. Um, my, my voice matters. Yes. Um, even if it's out of a million people, it's heard mm. by 10 people. Mm. Someone heard it. Absolutely. You know, um, someone either heard my laugh, someone heard my cry, someone heard my plea, someone mm. heard my joy, you know. Sure. Mm. Um, so voice out what you are feeling all the time. You know, um, sometimes think about it first, but it mustn't be in here mm. or in here for sure. too long, mm. you know, because that's when you're just like, uh uh man then you get these voices but sure. no it's not good enough your opinion is not good enough no actually you're not well informed on that so mm. i would suggest don't say no teta sure. teta you never know who is listening Absolutely. you know so um definitely a listen in but my voice matters and you're right yes, wow yeah, it's right. Like, wow okay. wow. Oh, wow um my voice matters and i think a whole lot of my life mm. it took me I remember, I think when I was 22, that's when I had, I thought, oh, this is a breakthrough. This is me. Yes. Um, it happened at 22. Mm. It happened at 28. And it happened at 30. Mm. Like big breakthroughs for me, not career wise, but mm. just me. Because I remember at 22, um, I wrote something that said, it took me 22 years to love myself and I sure. don't have time to convince anyone else. Mm. Because not just me accepting myself, sure. my flaws, um, my heart, my mind, my emotions and whatnot. Mm. It took me 22 years to fully understand that. Omnia no omnia can go home to the next person. I will HR now. Sana. This is a kind of 22 years experience. I will journey. You know what I mean? So, and again, it happened when um, I turned 28. Yeah. And then it happened again when I turned 30. Mm. Um, I think after 30, sure. I've just been soaring. Absolutely. Lessons from previous relationships, including your marriage. Ooh, get that prenup, nigga. Sorry. Am I allowed to say? <laughs> no, but nigga means to give. Oh. oh and because yeah. there's no great. Get that. Because, yeah, there's get no, because, there's no, because there was no prenup, you were nigging. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, there was a prenup. Oh, there was. Oh, okay. no. Ooh, okay. So, hi, yo. so you're not a nigger then. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not a nigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, you, you know when 
you, you can just tell that, ah, man. Guys, I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. Sure. I, 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 you, you hope for, for me, having a prenup and a very solid prenup um, out of community without accrual mm. was preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. And, and that's what it is. It's being realistic about yeah. the fact that we might not be together for the rest of our lives. Exactly. So and, I, and, I, I and, need and, to protect and, me. And, and often we treat prenups uh, as... You're jinxing the relationship. That's all. So I'm an independent green, a purple, and I, ah, 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 ah. Well, half the bedroom is gone. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no I really do believe in prenup because there, there's literally, there's also this thing, but people think just because. Nyanike, when you get married, oh no, you become one. Uh -uh. Yeah. Mm. No, mm. we don't become one. I'm still myself. Sure. They're still themselves. Mm. But we need to learn to coexist. Sure. Not that bus is obvious. It can never be mm. becoming one, one, they sure. say, mm. you know. Um, so one, <laughs> get that prenup. Sure. <laughs> definitely get that prenup. Make sure they sign. Um, and also, with, I would definitely say, give it your all as many times as you can sure. up until you're just like okay yeah man so I basically we, I, I, yeah we, we, we if, can wrap it up so if basically okay so basically what you're saying is in the event that you are walking away it must yeah. be because you gave everything everything and still nothing happened yes i i i don't want to lie especially with my marriage i fought mm. i fought for my marriage i worked hard for my mm. marriage. I mm. prayed for my marriage. Sure. I cried for my marriage. I sought advice for my marriage. Mm. I went to therapy for my marriage. I did each and everything for my marriage. I, uh, I, I, I hid some things for my marriage, mm. you know, um, from people for my marriage. Mm. I did a whole lot, mm. you know. I, that's when, when it was time for me to go, I was just like, Mm. Yeah, man. I think the writing. Let's. I, I think I can call it a wrap. Mm. Like this is this has been great. It's been sure. amazing. It's been mm. cute. Mm. Love what they've done with the place, but it's not for me anymore. It's sure. not serving anything. Um, and I thought, I really thought in Doyokuba, if I did all of those things, it would work. Mm. Um, putting aside the fact that it needs two people to work, sure. Sure. and if the other party is not in this or. They, they say that they are, mm. you know, but they are just not coming to the party. Then you, you, you can't. You, uh, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. You can't it. be a one-man party. Ex exactly. Mm. I, I, I literally can't. Sure. Um, so definitely know when to walk away as well. Okay. Know when to walk away. That thing, know when to walk away from the party, the mm. friendship, the relationship, the marriage, sure. and everything. Lessons that you learned from the backlash that you had to deal with regarding posting about your initiation, going to the mountain? I was going to post him now. I got a lesson. The lesson was I post what I like, and since I mm. post, you will know if I want to post in Funugui post. Mm. They're like, no, but what are you showing here? Ready? The post, and then what? Mm. People like to think, oh, yes, beyond, especially, I mean, obviously, with is into that. So for those that don't know, what exactly had you posted? I, I posted a picture of myself in the mountain. Sure. Like, you, well, I wouldn't say Rikali. It sure. was me with the whole, um, the body paint and sure. the, my whatnot. Mm. And then they were like, oh, no, you, you, you can't. You're, you, you, you're using these big words. And Ka then Kaza, Kaza, I, I love Gabon Bakatuta sometimes when they swear at me because when they use big English, like, use swear words that are relatable. Sure. Don't come in. You're desecrating our... Culture, you are this <laughs> Andy Kuva, Andy Kuva, Andy Kuva. Mm. It's like saying for sake to injure your yeah, suburbs. No, I, you, know I, I, like, Kuva. you know, it's like remember, there was a, a, a time a lion had escaped and then it attacked some guy, uh. and then he says the lion went her and he went her. Uh, and I'm like, I'm sure because he's black, he said for tech to the lion. Exactly, because but, 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 but the lion doesn't understand for tech. Exactly, Ayiva. So, uh, so, so use language I can understand. Exactly. So <laughs> come to get, come be relatable, man. Come be relatable. Learn to be relatable. Come to do that. You, you know, tell me off. Yes, cause so that sure. in this way, yes, but okay, no, yo, sure. 
That one's upset. But go out there and make it. I'm just like ah, so, I'm over. So would you do it again, or, or or do you understand why people would say, why would you put our culture out there like that? It should uh, be sacred. I, I would definitely post that picture again. Mm. In fact, I saw it um, the other time on my phone, and I was like, "Ooh, Sabol Guti TBT." <laughs> because also above and beyond what are they going to do tweet me to death yeah <laughs> oh no <laughs> I, 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 I didn't just, I did not disrespect my culture sure. in any way or form those pictures like that are in textbooks sure you know um, they are everywhere so people are looking for a fight eh, when Jay always angry about something he ha he ha keyboard warriors I no Guys, mm. no, but Bre I would definitely put it again and heal. Hey, we well, and relax, man. Mm. And also, swing is closer. Don't say in English. Lessons from being in this industry, the train. What's the, yeah. big, the biggest lesson? My dear, it sounds very cliche, but mm. not everything that glitters is gold. Um, for there's too much poo out there. Hey, Sandra, there's too much poo with nice makeup, nice glitter, glitter, and going by ah, uh, uh, man. Hey, Abantu, Abantu, a bear man in this industry, and when you find um and you, you when you find build or make good and genuine friendships and relationships mm. in this industry treasure them and fight for them you know and mm. fight for them mm. um fight for those people when they are not even in the same room as sure, you sure. um because I, I because of the person i am mm. um each and every production because my my main goal was um my end goal in terms of my career was to have e my own production company sure. my late night show coming soon no not that i'm actually working on it i'm mm. just it's in my yeah, manifesto guys yeah, sure. manifest yeah late night show a cute a man like is it is interesting jalo um each and every set that i've worked on i've always been like I'm definitely taking that makeup lady with me. Uh, I'm yes, definitely taking yes, um, yes. Uh, the, the lady from the you, office you, you with me. You build relationships. Yes, I'm definitely them. taking. And yeah. some, sometimes those relationships don't work. Um, especially, you know, <laughs> there was some uh, sort of, you know, uh, a friendship that broke because of this reality show. Mm. And I've I, I decided to just keep quiet. Mm. Um, they're busy talking smack about me to each and every person that they come across, mm. whether it's my current business partners, whether it is people that I've worked with, whether it's people that she is working with. Mm. And she's saying all of these things about me. And I'm just like, if those people don't have the guts to come and ask me, mm. whatever she says about me has got absolutely nothing to do with me. It's of no consequence. Uh, it's it's, it's yeah. like, uh, mm. okay, and then what? Mm. And then what? Because... It's 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 laced with lies. It's laced with lies. So mm. there are things that I've learned. So who is, she? who is this person? Ah, yeah. They know themselves. Um, but you know what? Kudos to them. They must get there at time if they want to use me by mm. I'm okay, Sharp. Mm. If that's going to get you your next meeting, uh, if that's going to get you your next opportunity, mm. all the best to stand with them. I've sure. been a conversation starter for most of my life. Mm. So you're not doing anything brand new. Sharp. Grab a number, join the queue. Yeah, like a number 1042. I will sign. So unique. So we are out of time. Yeah. Uh, but we will bring you back as and when you're working on other stuff. Of course. What did you pray about this morning? This morning, I prayed for serenity to mm. accept the things that I cannot change, mm. the world to change that I can. Um, because I struggle a lot with that because I love being not really in control, mm. but I, I, love, I love structure. Sure. I love logic. I love mm. A, B, and C. Um, I think that's what also makes me a person of instant gratification. Sure. I've done this, so therefore, these should be the, exactly. the results, you know. Um, so and sometimes I, you're not in control of what the results are. You're not. Are you're not in be. control of life. Yeah. You're really yeah. not. Mm. So I pray to just let go of some things mm. um, and also just learn how to keep quiet. Sure. Learn how to keep quiet. Mm. Whatever people say about you, mm. sharp, well and good. Exactly. Literally. That was, that was this morning, exactly. And what do you fear? What does Moshendeki fear? Um, before, I never used to fear death. Mm. But now I do because I've got two responsibilities. Oh, yes. That's, that's the only thing. I'm just like, I mean, even if I pass away and they're 25, mm. it makes no difference. They would have lost a parent. Sure. Um, but I don't want to pass away without seeing my children mm. be okay. 
successful, whatever, whatever, whatever that they want to do in their lives, whether sure. they want to be mechanic, whether they want to be singers, whether they want to be sex workers, whether they want to be actors or whatever, mm. it's fine. Sure. But as long as they are impacting society in a good way mm. and they are content with who they are. Absolutely. Where do we catch the brand new show, okay? The show is going to be on Mzansi Magic, Channel 161, on the 28th of January. Okay. Um, every Sundays at 7 p.m. Um, my other show, um, Last Chance at Love, is on Wednesdays at 8 p.m., also on Mzansi Magic. And my other show is also on Mzansi Magic. It should be TXing on the 18th. Um, does, eh? I'm not too sure about 18th the times. 18th of February. Yes, okay. 18th of February. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think yeah, the, I've got those three shows. And also on Moja Love, You Promised to Marry Me. Absolutely. Yeah. But brand new show this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday, yes. What's the show called? Life with Moshe. Life with Moshe. That's what's up. So you've you've got uh, what? Uh, you Promised to love uh, to Marry Me. You, you Promised to Marry Me. Yeah. Um, does, eh? mm. um, Lost Chance Love. Mm. And Life with Moshe. No, isn't there another? No, I'm kidding. I think Mr. Just... HR, we must yeah. not do a, a, a HR of love show. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in the end, the good get good relationships. Oh, nobody gives the best relationship advice like a divorcee. Absolutely. I, I always, I always say this, but guys, I've never made it to Forbes thirty under thirty, but divorce under thirty, so stuff Sam. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> they can't tell you anything. My brother, man, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so so much always, for having me. Always, always, always dope hanging out with you. Thank you so so much, Fresnia Bule, like a cool. And don't stop talking. I will never stop talking and. And I, yeah, shout out to your carpet. Okay, we'll change the carpet. I, I mean... I, I, you, you, listen, you're in three TV shows right now. Please buy us a carpet. You can afford it. I rather, I'm just like, I, I don't worry. I, I definitely will. Hey, son. Hey, guys, Mushen Dik, you'll be buying us a carpet. So next week, <laughs> there'll be a brand new carpet at Amp Studios, courtesy of Mushen Or you've just started a carpet company, even. Uh, uh, Mushen's carpets. Mushen's uh, carpets. Uh, no, Mushen's kitchen, yes. Mushen's carpets. Uh, no, nah. Not my scene. On that note, guys, we're going to get tiles in here next week just to annoy him. There'll be no carpet. We're tiling the place. <laughs> you've got this carpet, but you've got money for tiles. Yeah. Wow. We'll, okay. find, we'll find a, a sponsor. CTM, please call me, dog. <laughs> call me, CTM. We need pile, uh, uh, piles. We need tiles in piles. here. Piles. <laughs> On that ass hanging note, I think we're done. So two... South Africans reached major sporting achievements recently, overcoming tough odds. Para-athlete Darren Thomas winning a medal at a prestigious CrossFit event, and of course mix, mixed martial arts fighter Drikas Duplessis, who'll be on the show when he gets back from the US, becoming the UFC middleweight champion. The lesson to take from that, you're going to find it tough, and like Drikas, you might even get booed at it, and get a black eye, and a bloody nose. But we hope you find the strength to put your mind into it and push through, even if, like Drickus, you end up looking like a cauliflower. It is in that spirit that we wish you all a wow week ahead. We've been coming to you from Amp Studios downtown Johannesburg. We're part of the Africa Podcast Network. Shout out to Pezulu Works for the cinematography, Autista Flo Fraser for all of our audio imaging. Our guests today, comedian Nonto R, and of course, Moshe Ndiki, Mr. Everything. Also, Mr. HR. Creative producer, Kuvesh Mohan. Show producer, Kiro Zomudisa King. Email us at waw at africapodcastnetwork.com. Till next week, have a great week in spite of yourselves. <laughs>